you doing? This is Sean and Brian again from 2A Guys and Gear. Today we're going to take a look at the Colt uh, 6721 H-Bar AR-15. Okay, so this is an out-of-the-box uh, 6721. Uh, it's really very basic, no thrills. Uh, it's got the, um, I don't even know what you call this, the generic uh, six, posi six position buttstock, uh, the A2 uh, pistol grip stock, um, and the forearm. Now this one does have the Magpul um, backup iron sights, which is nice uh, since it doesn't come with an optic. And um, really, it's it's a great gun, but it's it's no thrills. It's it's just your standard heavy barrel AR-15. So what we're going to show you is how we take it and turn it into a more user-friendly uh, AR-15 with a lot of aftermarket parts. So and uh, Sean will tell you about what he did to this one. First, we put the uh, the Magpul um, CRT stock on it, and I believe it, you can order the uh, Colt with, I'm not sure which Magpul stock comes on it, but you can order it with one. Um, we changed the grip to the uh, MAID, and we installed, we took the uh, A2 sight off and installed a low profile gas block and the UTG 15 inch ultra slim um, free floating handguard along with the uh, Roush Sports uh, brake and Venom Tactics uh, 45 degree uh, A2 sights. Yep, so and then one of the big differences with those Venom 2 uh, uh, 45 degree offset sights is uh, it gives you a great option for backup sights without having the uh, the fold down sights like you have here which is very standard. So, but the thing I like about them, and I know Sean too, is when you're holding the rifle, instead of holding it like you would a normal rifle, obviously you've got it cocked at an angle. With the AR-15, it just rolls into your shoulder so much nicer than the traditional way to shoot it, which is straight. So it's actually, it's, it's actually lot, really comfortable. A lot easier to use just to roll it. Yep. Yeah, so it, it looks kind of odd at first, but it, it's a great way to shoot a rifle, uh, surprisingly. I like the fact that if you're optics or whatever you have fails you don't have to worry about taking it off or looking under it or looking around it you just tilt it 45 to the side and you're back on target yep yep now did you say that was uh you said it was a steel block right yes. versus uh, the steel aluminum block. block they had aluminum blocks but uh, we got the steel block did you put loctite on that or anything or is it just torqued down? Uh, they, co they come with loctite already on the um on the threads okay. cool so that's sweet is that pretty easy to do for taking off the uh, the front sight post? Yes, just uh, just driving out the two pins, and it basically just uh, you tap it with a rubber mallet, slides right mm. off. Cool, no That's problem sweet. whatsoever. And installing the UTG handguard, it comes with its own tool to uh, for the barrel nuts, which is real nice. Um, you do have to hang on to that tool; it's uh, proprietary, but. Other than that, I think it's a great handguard. It's super slim. I think it's only like an inch and a half diameter. Mm -hmm. Compared to this, which is two and a half. So <laughs> it's great for uh, people with smaller hands. So that way they can get their hands around it better. Plus, you know, adjusting the length of pull, it's it's a great versatile gun, whether the kids want to shoot it or your wife wants to shoot it or whatever. It's, it's perfect for that. Yeah, it works out real well. You can just hold, hold it right there in the palm of your hand. It turns out real nice. So now, cost-wise, um, I forget what these cost out of the or, or uh, from the dealer. But how much do you have in aftermarket parts? I think the gun was right around a thousand dollars, give or take, and two hundred and fifty in, in parts, and completely changed the the looks and right. the shooting of the gun. It it completely uh, it shoots one hundred percent different. Yeah, especially with that brake. That brake makes a huge difference. Yes, the Roush. It sports brake is a uh, it's a super nice brake yep yeah it's it's awesome so so it's about 200 bucks in parts and how long did it take you to swap everything out mm, hour oh, that ain't bad yeah, hour and a half give or take and that's taking your time right uh, doing it a couple times to make sure you got it right cool the uh the roush brake though the i bought that one off amazon but i don't think they're selling them on amazon anymore you can get them from ebay um if you just look up Roush Sports, 
and then add the word break or muzzle break and they'll pop right up but yeah. they're inexpensive i think it was like 20 bucks and free shipping if i remember correctly yeah. uh, i think they're uh, they're around 28 dollars now okay so still for under 30 bucks yeah it can't uh, be a, a super nice break um i think with the way the manufacturing's changing everybody's getting cnc machines and, and, and making their own stuff you can uh people can afford to sell it for a lot cheaper right. than what they used to be 100 200 dollars for a break right now we're going to try to give you a close-up view of everything that we've done to it we have the ctr stock with the extended butt pad we have the maid grip with the removable back straps and oiler we have the aluminum trigger guard slotted the 45 degree rapid transitional sights that are set up just like an A2 The UTG 15 inch ultra slim free floating handguard. It's one and a half inches wide. Uh, super nice. Awesome product. Front sight post. Exactly like an A2. The low profile uh, gas block, of course, you can't see and the Roush Sports Muzzle Brake. I think it's one of the best, best brakes for the money you can buy, without a doubt. This thing works like a champ and reduces recoil a lot. Okay, we're gonna head out to the range with these next week and we'll have a whole nother video on that. And we're gonna show you the difference between the uh, stock configuration and the modified version. Uh, and most notably, I think the brake will be the big thing with uh, showing you the difference in muzzle rise. And hopefully we can try to get some slow motion footage of that. Yeah, I think that, uh, that'll turn out well, trying to get some video to, to showcase that muzzle brake. Yep. And um, if you like our channel, please subscribe. Oh, I forgot something. I found this laying in the grass the other day. The new Beretta ARX 100. Uh, we'll be doing a full review and taking it to the range. Thank you.